It is a great honor and a privilege to introduce Sarah Geiger. Your maiden name was Flightlovich, and you were born in Lodz in Poland. Flightlovich, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm born in Lodz. And from the first, first uh, people that went to the, that were uh, were uh, sent to the ghetto. We were the first born in Lodz. They was eleven years old when the terrible war began. We are sent to the ghetto and lived in very, very sad conditions. My father was very disappointed because he believed that the Germans are very, very, cult very uh, 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 cultured. Culture, people were very, very, that he couldn't believe that they are go, what they are going to do. And he was, he was disappointed at once and he didn't. <laughs> so here's a picture of he your father. That's my father, yeah. And he didn't want to make any, any um, uh, any uh, um, like preparations and he, w he didn't want to eat and he, he was very, very my very, very down. My mother was fighting. She 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 did everything to make the family feel good. And we were very, very, very once we have lived in a very, we thought so, the children in very good conditions, but it wasn't so. That's my mother that was fighting. And after, after an year in ghetto, my mother, my father died, and... Ah, um, the, the, the story in, in Ravensbrück of the, the, the experiments that they did, I don't know if they called them rabbits or bunnies, but there's um, a famous um, experiment. There were many, many girls who lost um, the usage of their, of their legs properly in the experiments that were done there. And and all all that the, the little my mother in law and her friends all that they knew is that's the bunkhouse where they keep the rabbits, um, where they did the experiments. But they never saw it and they never so knew anything about it. Shatem lo yadatem zman al ha nisyonot nisugim shasu al ima al shvanim. And they they have Ravensbrück. It was in Ravensbrück. Yes. And they say Ravensbrück was sometimes worse in Auschwitz. Yeah. Um, my mother-in-law's first machateneste was first in Auschwitz and later in Ravensbrück, and she said that Ravensbrück was worse than Auschwitz. They were little girls. They were taking them to Zimmins to work every day. Um, they had no idea what was going on in the rest of the world. They were little girls, and Zimmons took advantage of their small fingers to do um, to do to do the work for Zimmons. Ah, and many of the things that they learned was in the sixties at, um, at Eichmann's trial. Then they then they learned a lot of things. Uh, for instance, the date of ha tarikh she she haurim nifteru. No. Ima. Ha tarikh shal mi. Ima. Yeah, and you that matay laku et ima. Yes, he he viewed me a mismach matay aban iftar. 
אוקיי. אבל, זה, זה, אבל מה גילית במשך משפט אייכמן? שאת האימא לקחו אה, כבר במכון, במכוניות על יד לוץ' היה מחנה ריכוז הלמנו ואת הטרנספורטים של הגטו היו מרעילים אותם כבר בתוך אה, המשאית. Well, there was a concentration camp called Helmno that was near, near Lodz and, and they were taking Jews from, from Lodz to Helmno and they were poisoning them already in the transport on the way to Helmno. Yeah. But the date, uh, that there were dates, um, perhaps the date, uh, the, the date that they took her mother, they didn't... No, until Eichmann's trial. She knows that it was on Tanis Esther that she, that she saw her mother for the last time, but the date of her death she didn't know until the 60s, until Eichmann's trial. Someone at Eichmann's trial said that he was in hell known. He's waiting and waiting and waiting for the transport to come. But they poisoned them on the way and they never got there. Uh, when they arrived in Sweden after the war, it was in... Baiton. Baiton Shvedi. It was in the in the in the in a Swedish newspaper, her sister Mala, and it said Malinka's waiting for her mother. And Sari your father, when did yes. the Abba Abba, Abba Niftar Vigeto? He, he passed away in, in the, the, the ghetto. Ani loya dati ki haiti be colonia bishakhti az lohaiti na yedet ki hayula. There was a colony in, in, as part of the, of the lodge ghetto where all the children were. And she didn't know that her father passed away, but she knew that something terrible happened because all her friends um, let her read the books first. So they all knew, but nobody told her. So, but she knew that something terrible had happened. And that was when, yeah. indeed, her yeah. father had passed yeah. away. And Ha'ach Gam. Ha'ach Shalach, Shlomo. Ima Shali Ba, Lemar Lanu, Etzot, Shu Niftar. Um, their mother, their mother told them that, that their brother Shlomo passed away. He was growing and his heart gave out. He was 16 in the Lodge ghetto. And it's amazing, here we have, after the war, the picture with you and your sister, <clears throat> you've... It's and the whole story with Rabbi Walby, it's, it's just, it's incredible. Mm -hmm. The Harav, at Bechatshana, who was the Harav Bechatshana? בחתונה שלי היה... הרב יעקובסון. יעקובסון. הרב יעקובסון. רב בנימין זאב יעקובסון. כן. אפילו בימים אלה ההורים של בעלי אפילו לא הגיעו. זה היה ככה. בוני מצילה את המצב. זה מצב. תמיד. בוני מצילה את המצב. לפחות יהיה לו משהו לצאת. זיגי. 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 
<laughs> Ziggy married that we were talking about the Lefkovitches. Okay. Ziggy. <laughs> ואני אומרת, הגרמנים באים, תקומו, תקומו. והם באים ומסתכלים, אישים בקינדסלאף, כמה יפה הילדים אישיים. הן מסתכלות עליי, אה, hey, את רואה? ככה, אני הייתי הזאת ששומרת על זה, וזה היה בסוף המלחמה, והיו שם איטלקים שעובדים. היה נהדר, זימנס היה טוב. זהו, זה לא שווה. כן, זה לא שווה. אבל זה היה משחק של הגרמנים. לא, לא. אז אני לא מבינה. זה היה סוף המלחמה. הם ידעו שהם מפסידים. והאיטלקים באים? לא, האיטלקים עבדו שם. אז אני לא, אני לא יכולה. האיטלקים עבדו, האיטלקים היו, איטליה הייתה יחד עם גרמניה, אז היו שם עובדים מאיטליה, מייסטרים, שמדריכים, והם היו טובים מאוד. טוב, אל תסבר את זה, יש לי דברים כאלה שאומרים שאני מכחישה את הסור. כן. עוד מעט יאשימו אותי שאני מכחישה את הסור. Okay, we have the great honor to have uh, Sarah Geiger and your daughter-in-law, Bonnie. And this is the most incredible story about Sarah, your sister, Marla, and her husband. So, Bonnie, if you could explain this okay, incredible picture. Okay, if you picture. look on the far right, you'll see Yisachar Hirsch, then the, the young woman who, during the war li li and afterwards, lived by, her by a woman in Poland, um, a goy. And this is Yisachar's wife, Mala. Um, Mala wrote a postcard. This is the postcard. And in it, um, I'll read it first in Hebrew. Zoti Marisha Potrajak ima aim hagoya bedarkam le New York. Shmona asre shana noashu kol chipuse ha aim ad shebe siyate dishmaya Hashem ziket Yisachar al yidei avoda detektivit u mesirut nefesh niflaa לגלות את הבת ולקשרה עם האם אשר הייתה בניו יורק. גברת פוטראז'ק מאוד אסירה תודה ליסוחר ואומרת שרק הוא יוביל את ביתה תחת לחופה. הבת לא רצתה בשום אופן לעזוב לבד את האם הגויה והיא נוסעת איתה לארצות הברית. Here you can see that they're traveling to New York to meet her biological Jewish mother, um, Mrs. Marisha Putrajak. Um, Uh, no, this is when Miriam Shapotrajak um, um, with her, her Goyish mother on their way to New York. 18 years, they despaired of finding uh, the mother, the biological Jewish mother, despaired of ever finding her daughter. And um, Hashem gave the schut to Yisachar um, after a lot of detective work and, um, and, and a lot of Mesiros Nefesh. And he found um, her daughter and... Um, um, made a kesher with her and the mother in New York. Mrs. Potrajak is, is beyond grateful to Yisachar and says he's the only person who would be able to bring her daughter to a chuppah. The daughter, um, under no circumstances, would leave um, her, her Goyesha mother and she only agreed to go to New York to visit her biological mother. And Marla, Sarah is, Mala, is Mala your sister. Mala is Sarah's sister. Uh, this is Mala, married to Yisachar, my mother-in-law's sister and brother-in-law. And this story is actually in the book that's written. Um, you can see here the cover of the book. That's incredible. And in this chapter, the story that I've told you, you know, in, in, in very brief... Can we brief, see the picture again? Story. What an amazing picture. Oh, thank you so much. In New York, the Polish woman went back to Poland 
and Marisha stayed in New York and married a Jew. And at, at her son's bar mitzvah, she went to visit Yisachar. <laughs> and Sarah, you met? You met? At Pagasht, what time? At Marisha, not at all. But the others, yes. There was one who brought her to America, one Jew, who knew that he ‫אלה לא הורים שלה, ‫והגוי חזר הביתה שיכור ‫והיכה את האימא. ‫אז היא צעקה, ‫אבא, מה אתה עושה לי אימא? ‫אימא שלך? ‫יהודייה מסריחה. ‫היא מיד... ‫-מאיפה הסיפור הזה? ‫גם היא זוכרת? ‫מיד לקחה מזוודה ‫ורצה לקהילה יהודית, ‫היה שם משהו, ‫וכבר לא חזרה. ‫הוא בא אליה והוא על ברכיים ‫ביקש ממנה סליחה שהוא היה שיכור ‫ולא יודע מה הוא ידבר, ‫אבל היא כבר חזרה, ‫ואז יששכר הביא אותה אליי לארץ, ‫גרנו בכפר אליהו, ‫והיא נסעה לדודים לאמריקה. Uh, that there was in, in, in Poland a girl who was hidden by a Polish family and he had a She always knew that there was something different about her because of this, not this family, she, this, this other girl. She always knew that there was something different about her because um, in the village, the Polish, the Polish people looked at her differently. Her Polish um, not biological father came home drunk one day and hit the Polish mother. And she said, father, why are you hitting mother? And he said, it's not your mother, um, you filthy Jew. Yeah. You filthy Jew, she's not your mother. And um, she packed her bag and she went to find um, any Jews that she could. She found her way to America, uh, to, to, to Israel. Or to reverse to Israel. Um, she found her way to Yisachar. Yisachar brought her to Israel, brought her to my in-law's home where she was for a while and she and she stayed in Israel and she escaped and she escaped she was saved that's incredible wow uh, every Shabbos meal uh, my mother used to um, take apples peel them and then told us stories about the Holocaust about the ghetto about the uh, Ravensbrück Siemens and also uh, about uh, living it. And uh, most of the stories wasn't uh, of terrible things. We are uh, second generation of the Holocaust, but we can't say that uh, my mother wake up at the middle of the night uh, uh, screaming, never. And, uh, and talks about all her friends. Yeah, but uh, they talked about yeah. the yeah. sister, yeah. her friends, how they survive, how they act, how they have uh, morals. Like uh, uh, in the Ravensbrück, there was a woman that uh, she, they knew that she can't uh, survive with the, the, the amount of the bread that they get. So every day, one of the girls gave her uh, the bread and get beef. every day one uh, uh, on every different day one girl was responsible for giving her piece of bread to that girl so that girl would have two and everybody else gave the girl who gave a bite of their bread and that's how they survived and we know that uh, this woman that they gave her after the war, she used to live in Bnei Brak, and she made the fish for my mother's wedding. Wow. <laughs> um, that was the story that we, that we grow uh, on these stories. Um, the, 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 how do you say it? The thing that she worried about 
was a girl that was with her in Lodge or Ravensbrück and after the war they move, everybody moved to uh, Sweden and some of them married Goim in Sweden. A lot of Goim wants to um, adapt the girls that came from the, uh, the, the camps. And some of them, there is <laughs> children, Jewish children in Sweden, and if it's a girl after girl, uh, so uh, daughter after daughter, it's uh, the children is still Jewish yeah, people. Like a Jewish. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 ואם זה בת אחרי בת אחרי בת, אז יש יהודים בשוודיה שהם אינם יודעים שהם יהודים. סביר, זה אפילו סביר מאוד שקיימים ילדים כאלו, קיימים מבוגרים כאלו, שהם יהודים בשוודיה והם אינם יודעים. And Sarah, את זוכרת את רב בולבי? Ah, do you remember Rav Volbe? Yes, I do. She remembers. They, 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 they were very close. If you remember Rav Volbe, if you remember Rav Volbe, Rav Volbe was in Sweden, and he was leading הדוגמה שלנו לכל החיים, מה זה? הוא שכנע אותנו שהשם אוהב אותנו, וזה היה הכי חשוב, זה היה סם החיים. רב הולבה הוא עד ה... גם היום ותמיד לכל החברות שלי, הוא היה המעורר לחיים טובים אמיתיים Um, and until a few years ago when his wife passed away, they were in touch all the time. They lived in, in Givat Sha'ul, not, uh, not far from Harnof. Their daughter lives in Ramot our, as our neighbor, and my mother-in-law is still in touch with her. They used to have, they used to have shirim. They used to get together all the time. All the time. They wow. sat at, at weddings. They sat mm. at the same table all wow. the time. They were sisters, sisters. In, in, in the real sense of the word. <laughs> this is her sister. This is Mala. Uh, Malchi's son, um, son married... My mother-in-law's daughter, they're all, they're Mechutonim. Ken, Iyakubson. Zu Achota, shehi... This is, this is Malchi's sister. She's also married to Iyakubson. Shehi gami Iyakubson, bala hu ya rav shel ber Yaakov. Zoti Hana Broyer, shehi gam Mechutonim. Her son married, her eldest son married my mother-in-law's eldest daughter. Zoti Masha Fischer. זאתי זהבה לוין, האשתו של הבן של רב אריה לוין, זאתי רוז'י אאוש, בת נהדרת מהונגריה, איבי אגי, וזאתי פרי, זאתי השטחנית שלי. אה, שימי את מעמד הרמאס שדך. זאתי לא זוכרת. חווה מפו, זה הכל זיכרונם לברכה, רניה, חברה טובה. רניה was a very very close friend until a few years ago when she passed away. הלה מונת, אינקה ורשבסקי, צילה ליברמן. צילה ליברמן was very close with my mother-in-law and her sons were very close with all the children. חיה גפנוביץ, המורה, הרבנית יעקובסון. This is Rav Yaakobson's wife. גברת איגל, אם הבית שלנו, The house mother, שרה קירשטיין, זה אני שרה גייגר, That's you, Sarah. זה ניושה נילי, <laughs> נילי וייס היום, הייתה, הניה שפירא, 
הלן גליק, לא זוכרת, לא זוכרת, גם, זו גם כן בת של איזה רבה, זה היה הלברכט, הניו גליק, חיה פוקס, גם לילי פוקס, ערב וולבה, אסתי שמואלביץ', גיזלה, אני לא זוכרת איפה היא עובדת, בת נהדרת. זאתי פלה, שאני מבקרת אותה בנווה שמחה. וויץ' פלה. שרה יעקבוביץ'. וילהם? או בולק? וילהם. זאתי בולק. זאת פלה בולק? פשע. מלכה, לא יודעת איך הוא אומר, פלה קמינסקה, בת דודה שלי סבינה, נו, אדית, אדית מילר. אדית מילר. שהיא גרה ב... שהיא... You can still find her selling in their bookstore in Geula. כן. לא זוכרת. אם היא בית וגן? גולדי, גולדי. הלה. לא זוכרת, פאני, איצה ורה, שינדי נויהאוס, היום טמפלר, ליה גליק, פוירברגר, לוי, לוי, וזאתי, זאתי, נו, שהייתה לך שכינה, נוידור, דורפמן. אה, דורפמן. דורפמן. וזה רב וולבה. למה רב יעקובסון לא מופיע בתמונה? זה היה, הוא היה כנראה באמריקה. אה. וזה היה כשאתה נכנסת עם... This is my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, and this is Rav Binyamin Yaakobson. Yeah. This is Mala and my mother-in-law. Mize. Achi. This is her brother, Shlomo. This. The Asaba. Asaba David. Not David. The Moshe. Asaba Moshe. And Sarah, one, one last thing, Sarah. <laughs> okay, Sarah, one last thing. Sarah, one last thing. You gave a message. At Natat Messer, Natai. When we started. Ah. A little. When you started to talk about the Ever of Messer. What? When you started to talk about the Ever of Messer, before we went to Messer, you gave a message. What? I gave a message. אני צריכה לנסח את המסר הזה. מה כאילו את מדברת איתי? כל מה שעברנו בשואה, אז זה היה נורא, ואני לא אומרת שאני מצדיקה או מבינה, לא כלום. אני מבינה, יש לי עוד, משתדלת להבין כמו דוד המלך, והכל כתוב אפילו בתהילים, אותו דבר, אבל כולנו יכולים ללמוד מזה לחיים. להשתדל לעשות טוב לאנשים, להשתדל לעשות שיהיה קצת יותר טוב בעולם, ולהודות להשם בעד הכל שנותן לנו. זה, מה אני יכול לעשות יותר? נהדר. בני, אם אתה יכול לתרגם, זה... מה יכול אחד לומר אחרי שהם עברו את ההולוקוסט? that whatever good we can do, we should do, whatever chesed we can do with someone else, we should do that, we can make the world a better place. Thank you. Dara Barava, im kol alev. Wow. 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 And David, to Dara Barava, yeah. But David, can I just ask, growing up, you grew up in a very normal family, very... But for them, Um, the whole, the, the um, Ravensbrück and Sweden was their mother's friends, their mother's children's, their, their mother's friends' children. They were just, they were family. They were sisters. These were their cousins. This was family. They came 
all the time. My mother-in-law's house was a meeting place. Everybody, they, they flocked to them like a magnet. They came and they came and they came. Everybody came. And they were always together. And they were always <coughs> talking together. <coughs> we used to live in uh, Barilan Street. Rav Jacobson was the Rav of Pagi, Sanedria. And uh, we used to go every Shabbos afternoon to visit uh, Rav Jacobson and the Rav Renit. Uh, all the my mother's friends that came to visit uh, Rav Jacobson, they go first to our house. So we knew everybody. Everybody came. Um, the, the boys, the girls, uh, came to our house. We, we have, it, it was like a cousins. We, we played together. Um, we didn't know a, a, a big family. My mother's sister was in uh, Borough Park. My father's sister was one in Yerushalayim, one in uh, Switzerland. And we have uh, a lot of cousins. Because we have uh, like our, uh, my mother's Mahotani. We know the children. I have, I have pictures with uh, um, my brother-in-law, the Chumal Ivracha, when I was a year and a half wow. in his bed when he was seven years old. We, we, we grow up with him. Uh, we went uh, every summer to Chadera to uh, Tzila Lieberman, to old friends, and then the boys came to us. All the time it was like that. <laughs> עם צביקה, שהוא דודי בן שנה וחצי, צביקה בן שבע. הם היו נוסעים לחדרה לילדים של צילה, ואחרי זה ילדים של צילה היו באים לירושלים אליכם. אלו היו הבני דודים, זו הייתה המשפחה. And it was happy, you were, you were, you grew up all happy. Very, very. We were very independent. I can go to every valley, valley, Every uh, Benazmani, I went to walk all over Israel, but I had to take sweater. <laughs> That's the only thing that... That he was in all the world, he was in all the world, he was in all the world. Hey David, what can you say about your mom? The best one. אני מכירה קצת את Not because of us, because of my mother, they have to go, they like to go to uh, schmooze with her, to talk to her, to get advice from her, and the best, to eat her food. Yeah. <laughs> כל החברים אהבו לבוא לבית שלכם, לא בגלל הילדים, אלא בגללך. כי את תמיד היית עם אוזן קשבת, ידעת לייעץ, wow. לתת עצות, ולשבת איתם, והעיקר לאכול את האוכל שלך. תודה, <laughs> תודה רבה. אדון גרסמן שמח. זה okay. העיקר. דמיד, אני רוצה להגיד לך. וואו, סרה באמת, תודה רבה עם כל הלב. אמסר, בוני, תודה רבה, דוד, תודה רבה, סרה באמת, תודה רבה, אין מילים. אני מודה לך על זה שאתה נותן לי לדבר ככה, ואני מאוד מאוד עד מי ועשרים עם גוד הלף מזל אין ברוכה. אמן. אמן. 
אם אני שמחה, אני אגיד בעברית, אני שמחה שזאת התרשמות שלך מהמשפחה שלי, ותודה רבה לך. תודה. תודה לך. תודה רבה.